Hey guys, welcome back. You are watching the second episode for the Cisco Digital Salinity Meter. It's often the case that a lot of problems may arise when people use this tool without calibrating it properly. So in this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate this handy salinity pan to get the most accurate readings possible. After watching this video, you'll find how easy this is. If you're just getting this gadget and taking it right out of the box for the first measurement, then you can go about calibration right away. But if not, for example, you want to calibrate it because you have used this for several times or it's been a while since last use and you want to make sure its accuracy is still guaranteed, then it's necessary for you to rinse the salinity probe thoroughly in fresh water so as to remove any soap residue from the device which could possibly pollute the calibration solutions and spoil the accuracy of your calibration. Then the next thing you're going to do is completely dry the probe in case that any residual water drops might dilute your calibration fluid and again affect the accuracy of your calibration. Moving on, we'll show you the actual calibration procedure. To calibrate the meter, you're going to press and hold the cow button while the meter is on until you hear a beep from the device. The meter will prompt a word like this, and that is one of the two calibration modes. Pressing the power button changes the displayed calibration mode to another one. Now, we've selected the first mode, and we're going to calibrate this using standard saline solutions. Here, we've prepared three salt water solutions, 1%, 5%, and 10% as calibration standard for our tester. Then, let's begin by putting the salinity probe into the 1% solution. Be careful not to touch the container side wall when you put it into the solution. Wait until the reading becomes stable. It's settled on 0.95, that's close enough. Then we're going to take off the probe and wipe it with dry paper towel to get ready for the next calibration. Now let's place it into the 5% soap water solution. You can see how the screen changes as soon as we dip the entire electrode into the solution. Leave it in place until the device settles. And the meter gives a readout, 5.08. That's within the accuracy range. Again, let's dry it with paper towel and submerge it into the 10% calibration fluid and let's see where we'll get. Wait until the MES icon stops blinking. And there you are. It settles on 9.84% and that's also acceptable as the accuracy range for 5-10% to salinity measurement is plus minus 0.3%. In case you're wondering, this salinity tester has built-in temperature compensation. That means the device can adjust automatically for temperature differences. Therefore, the temperature change would never affect the accuracy of your measuring results in normal conditions. So, if some deviations did occur or you find the result is not close enough for you, the reason might be the solution has not been fully mixed. So, you may consider further swirling it around the salt water and make sure the salt residue has fully dissolved in the water. And there you go. The device is now calibrated and ready for use. It's really that easy. Before you go ahead and test your salinity, remember to rinse the tip with purified water and dry. This unit does not need to be calibrated every time you use it, as the pen resets itself to zero every time you turn on the unit. In conclusion, this tester is really a great little tour that not only tells you the exact salinity you are testing, but also lets you know the temperature of your soap water, buffed by its temperature compensation. It's also really easy to calibrate, only takes you a couple of minutes to finish that and get it started. So that's pretty much all there is to calibrating the Cisco Digital Salinometer. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please kindly hit the like button and subscribe for more videos related to test and measurement. And if you just need an inexpensive salinity testing solution, our product is definitely worth a look. For more information, head on over to the product page through the link down below in the description. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.